Hey guys, what's up? Alright, I have two new things to talk to you about in this video. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is actually what I'm videotaping this video with. It's so my new phone, it's called the Kin 2M from Verizon Wireless, and uh, it's supposed to have HD video quality recording, and it's an 8 megapixel camera. So yeah, tell me what do you think about the quality, whether I should keep this camera, or just use my old one from before. And alright, so the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is this. It's a 10 milliwatt blue violet laser from Amazon. And uh, it's really cool actually. It's only $9 for this. So I'm going to open it up quick. And it comes with like instructions and talks about like the warnings and other cool stuff about this. And yeah, it's pretty cool. And then it comes with the laser itself and then two triple-a batteries and uh, these batteries are not very good like you've never heard of these batteries they are called rocket power or whatever um they're just basically they're not that good if you're looking to get the most power out of this laser I'd use like some other batteries like energizer or something like that but right now I'm just gonna I have energizers and it does make it powerful but uh Right now I'm just going to use what came with the actual laser. And then, uh, here's the laser itself. It's 10 milliwatt blue violet. It's really good build quality. It's really sturdy and solid. It's a lot different from my green laser I got from Amazon. I didn't really like the build quality of, or not Amazon, from eBay. I didn't really like the build quality I also got from the other laser I got from eBay, which was also a blue violet laser but it's only 5 milliwatt, but this is 10 milliwatt, it feels nicer, it looks nicer, and yeah, so I'm just going to put the batteries in. So you put them with the positive side down, so the negative side is facing up. Sorry, I'm going to use one hand, I'm holding my phone in the other. Yeah, let me screw it on quick. Screw it on, it starts to get like hard at the end of it, but it's fine. It's not that hard to screw on. So let's test it out. So I'm gonna start I'm gonna close like my shades and stuff so you can see it. 100% like how bright it is. There's also a cool thing I get to show you guys about this too. Okay. So here it is. You can see the beam actually. It's really cool. It's really bright. Um, and what's cool about this laser is it's a UV laser, or no, it's a blue-violet laser, but it also emits some ultraviolet rays, which we cannot see with our, like, own eyes, and that's some of, that's one of the rays that the sun emits on us, and that's what causes, like, sunburn and such like that, uh, it also causes stuff to glow, and that's really neat about this laser, so I have a crucifix, it's probably not the best, like, thing, the best example to use. But it's like the only glow-in-the-dark thing I have right now. So I'm just going to show you. It's right over here in the hall. And here it is. Uh, you just shine the laser on it, and it starts glowing. It's really cool. And you can just see, like, really neat thing. And um, that this that's one of my favorite things about this laser that no other lasers can do. Like, a green laser or a red laser cannot do that. It's only blue-violet. Because it, like I told you, it does show you some ultraviolet rays on this that we cannot see. So, but, and that means like this laser right here, the wavelength is shorter, but the amplitude is much higher. Which means basically that it's more powerful, but it's more, it doesn't go as far. Like it's more, uh, it's like, basically it's stronger in the shorter distances while like say a infrared laser or a red laser would be stronger like it'd be able to go farther away and still burn stuff like that 
when this is a short wavelength but a high amplitude, which makes it really powerful but only in shorter distances. But it still does go really far. Like a green laser, also, it's like it's in between that I'd say, so it's like, you know. But also this laser, it seems like it's not, like don't be deceived by, if you think that it looks really like, it doesn't look bright at all, it's actually really bright. It's just the human eye can't really see blue and violet as well as they can see green, because green is like pretty much where we see light the best at. And that's why I like red, also like red too when it starts to, red you can't really, it doesn't seem as bright as green. So yeah, it's pretty much, it's, it may seem dim, but it's actually extremely powerful, so don't be deceived by that. Um, and yeah, it's a really good laser. And unfortunately, I can't do a balloon test for you guys because I don't have a balloon right now. But when I get a balloon, I'll show you guys it popping it. And yeah, so leave comments whether you like this camera better or my old camera, which is a flip. But it's really strange on my flip camera. Uh, every single time, it seems like it's making a little clicking noise. And I don't know, it's really weird. I can only hear it in the videos, which is really strange. But yeah, so just give me feedback on the laser and what you think about this video camera. And I will also be showing, like, probably giving a review on my phone, which is what I'm recording this video with. I'll do a review on this phone, and I'll also be showing you guys some things that you may have not known. And some pretty cool, like, apps and games. So yeah, uh... Thanks for watching, leave comments, subscribe, and rate.